Acacia Network held their annual fundraiser dinner at the Hilton in Midtown. The evening featuring performances by Hermano Sons celebrated the accomplishments of the organization that began in the 60s and 70s to help those from the Puerto Rican diaspora create a better and safe place to live and grow, something that continues today. We are the largest homeless housing uh, provider um, in the city of New York. So we have over 4,500 uh, units of homeless housing. We also have affordable housing and supportive housing for individuals with HIV, uh, mental illness, um, and also those that are developmentally disabled. And with that, programs also to help those who are HIV positive. With facilities in New York City, they've expanded to include centers across the state and most recently in Puerto Rico. Uh, and we are soon to uh, cut the ribbon on a um, assisted living project in Puerto Rico. So we are everywhere, um, everywhere there's a need for services that we provide. We're looking to be there really to meet the needs of the community. Helping domestic violence victims is also a priority. Desiree Susana heads that program. Um, homelessness is just one part of it. Uh, we try to connect our families with primary care services through some of the clinics that we have partnerships with. We try to connect them with different um, daycare centers because if the children are engaged in activities then the parents can find employment and overall that'll help them get out of their situation. Distinguished honorees were Helen Ceballos who after Hurricane Maria worked with those impacted the most by bringing healing through her art. Don Manning was recognized for being a corporate sponsor and Carlos Pagan received the Lifetime Achievement Award for being a trailblazer in the Latino recovery community and a pioneer in substance abuse. They are pioneers in substance abuse and their work continues to be relevant today. Here at the Hilton, this is Arlene McCoco for Bronxnet Television.